starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. of yours made me lose a fawn. What'd you want the fawn for anyway? This is government business. What does the government want with him? Now look, son, I wasn't trying to hurt that fawn. I was just trying to catch him. Oh, I see. I'm a biologist for the U.S. Forest Service. We're helping the state make a wildlife survey. It's called the Fawn Patrol. Oh. Well, my name is Timmy Martin, and this is Lassie. <laughs> She probably thought you were going to hurt the fawn. My name is Mark Adams. What do you do with the fawns after you catch them? If we catch them, you mean. Well, we weigh them and tag them, and then we let them go. Now, if you two will excuse me, I've got work to do. Mr. Adams, look. There goes one. Go get him, girl. Well, what do you know? Good work, Lassie. Well, she performed like a veteran. Oh, I'll let you keep her right there, Lassie. Good dog. Timmy, would you mind holding this bag open for me? Okay. All right, son, get me those scale there, baby. That's a boy. Look right on there. That's it. Well. gives him a number we can refer to and shows exactly where we found him. How does it help the fawn? Well, by tagging him like this, we can keep better track of the herds, and we can make sure that they have plenty of food and water. All right, now, fella. Go on. Go to your mama. Lassie, you just helped the forest surface. Yes, Lassie did that like she's been working with fawns all her life. Lassie can do almost anything. You must be very proud of her. I sure wish I had a smart dog like that to help me. If you had a dog, it'd be working for the government, wouldn't it? It sure would. Would you like to borrow Lassie? Do you mean it? Sure. We'd like to do anything to help the government, wouldn't we, Lassie? All right, it's a deal. And we'll make Lassie an honorary member of the Fawn Patrol. Shake hands with you, Lassie. <laughs> All right, Lassie, we've got work to do. I'm going to call on a few of the farmers around here and tell them about our survey. Would you like to come along? Yes, sir. All right, fine. Did you hand me that net? Sure. Can I carry it? Sure. Come on. Mr. Cato? Yeah? I'm Mark Adams, U.S. Forest Service. You're the fellow that's tagging them fawns? Yes, sir. Well, you've heard of our survey, then. Well, McAllister down the road told me. He said that we were to spring all our traps. Is that so? Just till the survey's over, if you don't mind. Well, I do mind. I got a trapper's license, and I aim to trap any animal that trespasses on my property. Even little fawns? Sonny, little fawns go into deer. And deer eat my crops. But Mr. Cato, our uh, 
Pawn Patrol will be over in a couple of weeks. Then you can set your traps again. There's a mountain lion that's pestering my livestock, and a coyote that's raiding my hen house. And I aim to catch them both. Well, that's the way you feel about it, Mr. Cato. That's exactly the way I feel about it. Come on, Timmy. Gee, Mr. Adams, isn't there anything you can do? Not much, I'm afraid. Well, suppose one of Mr. Cato's traps killed the fawn. Wouldn't that be against the law? Yes, but I'd have to report him to the state game warden. Well, couldn't you tell the warden now? Then he'd make Mr. Cato spring the traps and save the fawns from getting caught in them. Well, that's smart thinking, Timmy, but the game warden's working in another county right now, and he won't be back until our fawn patrol's over. Well, what are you going to do? Well, we'll just have to work around Cato's property, I guess. The trouble is, it's right in the middle of our survey area. Well, maybe Lassie will be able to catch enough fawns so you won't have to go into Mr. Cato's old property. Well, I'm sure that Lassie will be a big help in any case. Mom? Yes, dear? Why do some people have to be so mean? Are you still thinking about Mr. Cato? Mm-hmm. Well, some people have different ways of doing things that seem strange to the rest of us. But if Mr. Cato doesn't let the farm patrol on his property, Mr. Adams and Lassie might not catch enough fawns to finish the survey. Why don't you let Mr. Adams worry about that? This is Lassie's first job for the United States government. And she sure will be disappointed if it doesn't turn out right. I think Lassie will do the best she can anyway. Right now, I suggest that it's time for you to go to bed. But tomorrow's Saturday. But you said yourself the fawn patrol starts at dawn. You've promised to have Lassie there at 7 o'clock. Remember? Yeah. Well, come on, Lassie. What you doing in there? Can't you read? Don't you know you're trespassing? Do you know what no trespassing means? Yes, sir. The last you saw this poor little fawn in trouble. I told you in that government, man, that I was still keeping my trap set. I know. And look what happened. Do you want this little fawn to die? <laughs> no, but... I didn't think you would. Now take him and get off my property. Yes, sir. Come on, Lassie.
That's a dog. Keep him away. Keep him away. Come on. I'll push him over. Come on. Nudge it over to me. Never was a dog more, all right. He kept the mountain lion away from me. I see you got him. Yeah, I got caught in my own trap. Gee, Mr. Cato, I'm sorry. I'll help you. You can't release that son. We gotta get help. I'll get Mark Adams. The ranger? Uh-huh. Now, after the way I told him off, he wouldn't help me. Sure he would. Lassie, you stay here with Mr. Cato. I'll be right back. I don't know what would have happened if Lassie hadn't have pushed the gun over to where Mr. Cato could reach it. Did you know that mountain lion was only about 10 feet away when he shot him? Well, that's a terrible thing to have happened. Don't you think Lassie was brave? Yes, dear. She always is. And Mr. Cato was so grateful for what Lassie did. He told Mr. Adams and me we could use his property for the Farm Patrol. I guess he's not so mean after all. Well, it's too bad, but some people have to have a near tragedy before they realize the error of their ways. Mom, is it okay if Lassie and me go over and help Mr. Adams bring the traps at Mr. Cato's? And that way we can start hunting for funds. All right, dear, you go on. Gee, thanks, Mom. Come on, Lassie. Be back in time for supper. I will. And be careful. Those. I guess they want to make certain we don't harm their offspring. They sure are pretty, aren't they? Thank you. You tired? No, sir. Well, I wish I could say the same. The lassie there has run further than both of us put together. How many fawns have we tagged so far today? Oh, well, let's see now. Including that last one that gave us so much trouble by falling into the bog, exactly seven. That's a lot of fun to catch him one day. That's right. And we've still got a couple of hours to go. Lassie, have you had enough water? Well, guess we better be gone. Jimmy, don't you want any more ice cream? No, uh -uh. sure, Mom. Looks to me as though you two had a pretty busy day. You haven't even told me much about how it went. 
Well, we tag nine fawns. Yes? Lassie, she saved one from the coyote. Really? And Mr. Adams said, and he said that he was going to put Lassie in his report to Washington. Well. And tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to, we're going to. Timmy. Hmm? Wake up, dear. Hmm. <laughs> it's time to go to sleep. Night, Mom. Come on, girl. Pretty good for an old cousin, don't I? You're just doing great, Mr. Cato. Uh, Timmy, will you put that chair under my leg, please? Sure. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Well, Doc says that'll be good at noon, a couple of weeks. Well, that's fine. And you'll be happy to know that Lassie and I have finished the fawn patrol. And you can set all the traps you feel like. I don't know as I want to. Between you and your darn fawns, Adams, and that boy and his dog, I don't know as I'll ever set a trap again. <laughs> Sitting here watching what you call wildlife give me a chance to do plenty of thinking. I know now I should have gone along with the other farmers when you ask us to. Well, you got your lion. Yeah, and it cost me plenty. Lassie here made me appreciate animals for the first time when she saved my life. From now on, Adams, anything you want to help your game conservation program, you just call on me. <laughs> Did I say something funny? Oh, I should say not. It's just that I'd like to ask you a favor. Uh-oh. What kind of a favor? Well, Mr. Adams would like Lassie and me to help you band and count all of the teals and mallards this summer. Huh? And? Well, the ducks like to nest in places like your lake. So if you would allow us on your property, he'd be a big help in the count. <laughs> he talks like he's been in the Forest Service all his life. Like dog, like master. Well, I got my own ideas. Yes? I'll sow barley all around the shoreline. That'll bring in more ducks than you can shake a stick at. Gee, thanks a million, Mr. Cato. I'm the one that ought to be thanking the fawn patrol, especially Lassie. <laughs> thanks, Lassie. For making an old fool human again. Say you're welcome, Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 